Hello everybody, this is Eternal Primo, and this is going to be a how-to video on how to create streams on your PS4. So, that's what I use currently for making my stream, for, well, making my YouTube videos. It's actually pretty nifty. So, let's just get started here. So, first you're going to go is to New Project. You're going to have to pick a theme I generally choose the shooter theme, and then you just pick a video. So let's say, uh, we're going to want multiple clips for this one, so I'm picking these three that are all from different games. It's all depending on what your video is, so it's going to ask you to rename your project. You can keep it as the same. I rename it, so for in this case it is... It's a how-to video. <laughs> um, so, it'll you can play through it, go through it a little bit. I immediately edit the overlays here, so it doesn't give you an infinite amount of letters you can use when you s rename the title. So, just go in, change it again, so how-to video... So, I'm going to leave video, input, off, a, a, p, s, four. I also change the letters and the effects delete that little symbol because I don't think it goes with this right now and do the same to the other text ta-da so and there how that's going to look so and you have all of these little clips that I put in so, this one, we're going to split the clip. So, anything that you would find to be unimportant for the video, just delete. Just go through each one. You'll find them. I trust that, at least. So, for this one, for instance... Um, gonna say about there and delete the rest of that and this one ah we're gonna leave because actually we're gonna cut it right there because I didn't watch that video entirely and I almost made a mistake that happens a lot that's why you go through this thing two or three times I don't like leaving these ends without anything but the sound that it makes like. Yeah, that, that's just boring. So, add music. Go through all this music. I generally just do the same one almost every time. Occasionally I'll change it up just to see if people notice. And also to see if it does any better. Trim that down. Should be about here and look at that and then we're gonna clone the music we're gonna do the same fade in fade out and move and then we'll trim it again this time to I believe it's nine seconds but we'll see because we gotta move this here Look at that, that's beautiful. We're just going to leave that. And that is a very easy way of doing it. There are a lot more features here, so let me get out of that. So there's, you can trim clips, move clips. So for instance, I don't like this clip being here. I can move it. 
and put it in between. If I like Marvel Avengers first, then Wolfenstein, then Borderlands, that's perfect. There's also, I can delete a clip. That's going to do what I think it says. You can clone clips. You can pan and zoom. So you could really zoom in on these videos. I don't see a point for a whole lot of the things I do currently. I do know how to do it. And that's fine. It also says I can edit filters. So let me see if I can. So how to edit filters, you would add a filter. So for instance, uh, let's say black and white. That's pretty normal. There's a chest with gear close by. Which is not a horrible thing, but I don't see the point of it. Um. So I don't care for filters on most of the things I'm doing. But that is relatively how you do a how-to video with this. So this app, it, you can get only on your PS4. This is only going to work on your PS4. This is Share Factory in that top left-hand corner. You can see that there. It's not a bad company. It is very basic in the editing stuff. So... I can edit the music. I can I can even do clip volumes. I occasionally do this if I find my volume not good enough. The issue with that is if you record your audio while you're recording this, you can't differentiate on the audio. That's not something they can do. I think on other on other platforms you can um editing services you could I don't know for sure. I tend to record while I'm doing my audio, but occasionally I if I feel like the audio is going to be too loud, I will do the audio later and then record. And let me, let me try that again. I will record the video take down the volume and put in my own audio. Um, but that should do it for this. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel.